welcome to this video at Mella and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, it's market day and I'm going to be heading out in about 10 minutes. It's 6.35 um, a.m. And so my market today is from 9 to 2, so it's a five hour market. Um, I have to get there at 7.30 and it's about 30 minutes away, um, the market is. So I have to leave my house at 6.45, but otherwise I'm all ready for the day and I just have to eat breakfast. I might do that in the car, um, but then yeah, we're ready to go. Um, I made some, I made a few things last night um, that I didn't really show in like my market prep video, which was my last video, um, but yeah, I'm super excited for today's market. I'm hoping to show sort of like my setup process and like um, hopefully like a time lapse of like people coming in maybe I don't know we'll see but I um I'm gonna keep getting ready a little bit and then I will see you when we're on our way all right so we made it the drive down here we're about to unload the car but I was able to make a little wheel in the car I just finished I finished the fins and sewed it on so we're gonna start setting up now All right, we're getting set up. Um, I have my banner up, and also I'm just starting to put some of the displays out. I have my kits and like my plushies, and I have my crates over here, and my fruit stand. So I'm just gonna work on getting all of this filled in now. All right, so it's like an hour and a half into my market. I am hiding behind my table because there's a lot of people. Um, my mom's helping people, but. It is going so good. It's like um, almost two hours into the market and it's going so good. I still have three more hours left. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse. Okay, there's one hour left in the market and it's absolutely insane. I've sold out of so many things. Um, oh, words. Sorry. Are hard. Words are hard. Um, I, I still have an hour left and it's insane. I've almost sold out of all my minis, all my fruit. I've sold a lot of scrunchies, which is good because I'm just trying to get rid of them. Um, but yeah. It's definitely slowed down though, so hopefully I'll get a few more sales within the next hour, but it's just been, it's been so good today, like it's insane. Okay, so the market is over. I consolidated all my stuff, and this is everything I have left. Um, I do have some bags over here, but this is everything, everything else sold. This is insane. Hey everyone, so it is a few days after the market. Um, I for or I didn't forget that I just didn't have time to record more um, after the market and like taking down or anything. But um, as we saw in the last clip, there really wasn't much that I brought home. Like I didn't count, but it was like less than ten items, like ten plushies. Um, there was like some earrings, scrunchies, and bags, um, all of which I'm just trying to get rid of. So I came home with quite a bit of those, but that's okay. 
Um, a lot of people bought scrunchies, which was good. I was happy with. Um, but yeah, um, there's a lady who came and like completely cleared out my fruit stand. Like, I think she bought at least half of the fruit that sold. <laughs> like, it was insane. But then um, I sold all but one of my minis. Um, I, I don't know. I sold most things, which was really surprising. So, um, I am very, very glad that I upped my prices, um, from my last few markets. Um, pretty much at every single market I've had to up prices just a little bit, um, which it's hard to, like, have to figure everything out trying to, like, um, figure out, like, the sweet spot of, like, make, making sure that it's, like, a good price that you feel comfortable selling it at and a price that people will pay for it but i think i gotta figure it out because um, i don't think i sold any more items than the best market i've done so far which was the first market i've done with this farmer's market um that was the best market i've ever done like money wise um and so like this um, market like for this video I don't think I sold any more product I think just my price increases helped and I did like significantly better so I am so glad that I raised my prices so glad that I decided to do that um my next market is July 12th which is in two weeks I mean I'm filming this video a f a, like four days later but um, it's two weeks from today, which is insane. It feels like it's a lot farther away, but um, you can kind of see, I guess you know, I see my yarn, but I've been working a lot on my next market. So um, I'm going to have three markets within 10 days and um, like just doing the math, I'm like, oh wait, their first one's in two weeks from today. So that's kind of insane. And um, next week I'll be gone for four days, like on a trip. So I gotta get prepping <laughs> for my next market but um yeah this market went super good there was a lot of fun people um it was kind of crazy i f i feel like people would um come in and see someone i like and like want to go get it but there was someone already there who just happened to like that same thing and buy it before they could get to it so that happened like two or three times i think um which is insane it's like i feel bad but I think for my next market, I want to have, like, instead of, like, a lot of different things, like, a lot of just one of an animal, I think I want um, to have, a, like, multiple animals. Like, maybe, like, less choices, but, like, more of those choices, if that makes sense. So, like, instead of having three different animals, having three of the same animal, if that makes sense. But, um... That's what I'm hoping to do. I probably won't though. I get kind of bored of making the same thing, so um, we'll see. But I also sold some kits, which made me happy. Um, I don't sell kits a ton, so um, but I think I sold like three or four. I think I sold three, but that's great. One problem I had with the market was, um, and I've had previously, like in past markets, is kids touching stuff. Like, Parents will come in and let their three-year-old touch everything and, like, not, like, break it or destroy it, but, like, just, like, squish it really hard or, like, make it look kind of bad and, like, put it in the wrong spot and just leave. Like, parent, like, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do because, like, I don't necessarily want people touching my stuff. Like, I mean, it's okay if they do because I get the yarn is soft, so I totally get it. But I also don't want people to, like, ruin my stuff. Like, it hasn't been too much of a problem because I still sell those things anyway. Um, but I don't know. If anyone has any ideas or any suggestions, that would be great. Like, I've seen people that will, like, package up their stuff and just have, like, one item on display for people to touch. And then they can buy one that's packaged. But I don't know if I really want to do that because I have so many different like options and variations of stuff that like it's kind of hard to sell like all of like the same types of things so i don't know if anyone has any ideas please let me know because it's kind i'm kind of getting sick of kids 
touching stuff. And I feel weird telling the kids to not touch it when their parents are right there telling them that they can touch it. So, I don't know. Also, like, I don't want to stop kids from touching them because when you feel how soft it is, like, you want to buy it. So, I don't know. And by the way, I am so sorry. I forgot to take any before and after pictures. Like, I basically only have, like, a halfway through video, like, a halfway through clip and an after clip. So, I totally forgot to take any video or pictures of the before, which I feel really silly, but that's okay. Um, another thing, um, at my last market, my square wasn't working. Or, like, my last two markets, my square reader wasn't working. I mean, to be fair, it was, like, 10 years old, and it's just, like, a free one, so... I understand why it didn't work it just like didn't work anymore so i ordered a new one and it got there the day of my last market but once i got home so i didn't get to use it but i am very glad that i um used it or i that i had it for this market because i think it was like almost half of my sales were through like card and so that was really really nice um so i'm very very glad i had that there's also a lot of people who are glad i had that they said that they didn't have cash or venmo which are my other two options so um i'm super glad that i got that one thing i didn't show that i had before like before they sold was i had mushrooms um those were in supposed to be in, like the 12 dollar bin with the ducks or i think there was a duck in the like halfway clip i showed um, there was mushrooms there, and I also had, um, I also had big mushrooms that were in, like, my $20. I made them with, like, blanket yarn, so they were, were, like, about the same size of, like, my Squishmallow items, so I decided to price them at 20 and, um, that went well. Those were, like, one of the first things that sold. Um, I already got another custom order for pink mushroom. Um, I don't think I have it like available right now but um they wanted to come pick it up at my next market in two weeks so um they already prepaid for it I have the girl's name and her phone number so um I'm super happy about that too um it's kind of fun to get like custom orders and I even have some people that were like giving me suggestions and telling me that they would come back like at my next market so um I'm hoping that I can work on all of those and I also had some more people want kits, but like different animals um, that were like my own pattern. So I don't know. I have a lot to work on. But um, anyway, I hope you liked this market video. Oh, and by the way, in case you're waiting for it, I don't share my prices. So I'm not going to share how much I made in case you're waiting for me to say I don't do that. Um, but anyway, I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you want to see in the future if you like market videos. Because I have a lot of markets coming up. Um, and thank you so much for watching until the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.